ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் வி ஆர் சீயிங் அபவுட் வேரியஸ் ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸஸ் அண்ட் வி ஹாவ் இனிஷியலி கம்ப்ளீட்டட் அ வீடியோ ஆன் ஜேஎஸ்ஆர் டூ டூ த்ரீ ப்ரீ ப்ராசஸர் அண்ட் தென் வி சா வி ஹாவ் அனதர் வீடியோ ஆன் யூஸ் அ பேரமீட்டர்ஸ் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ஹெச்டிஎம்எல் லிங்க் பார்சர் அண்ட் இஃப் யூ ஹாவ் நாட் வாட்ச் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் ப்ளீஸ் டூ செக் த லிங்க் அண்ட் ப்ளீஸ் டூ சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு அவர் சேனல் அண்ட் டு நாட் மிஸ் எனி வீடியோஸ் So let's see what is a HTML link parser in this video and we will see about some of the practical examples of HTML link parser and before that let's see how to add and how to use a HTML link parser and for that let me go to file and I'm choosing the templates and in the templates I'm choosing a simple HTTP request and that's enough for creating this one. so now we have a thread group and under that we have a http request i'm removing this http header manager and under this http request let me empty every value in it so what is the next step so the next step is going to be adding another http request so what i'm going to do is i'm right clicking on thread group add sampler and http request and another http request so in this way i am adding at least 5 http request after the home http request so what are we going to do next is we are going to add the pre processor for each of the http request and please remember any html link parser pre processor should come after the first link which means it should start from the second link or the second request so we're adding the suggestible link parser here and again in the third request i'm adding another http html link parser in the fourth request i'm adding another html link parser and finally in the last request i'm adding another html link parser and finally i am adding a listener a view results tree so there are few more changes which we have to do and which is the first one where we have to find what is the root page that we are going to test or what where we are going to check so let me get the get option here so let's let me choose the get option and the next one which is the website which we are going to test is the petstore.octopuff.com so i'm just choosing the url here and this is the page which we are going to check so what i'm going to do is i'm just copy pasting this url and i'm pasting this in the server ip name and you all remember that until .com should be here and after that we can remove that and paste it in the path so now we have the first page which we are going to test and the all other pages what we are going to do is we will have to change the protocol to https and the path we have to add the regular expression which is dot period star and let's copy the same to all the other request in case if we do not add it then we might miss the values getting populated for those http requests so let's add these protocol and the path so this is the only change that we have to do so let me do it here and let's so we have completed the changes and before we execute this link let us see what is this html link part so, so we have did everything like we have created the page which we wanted to test and then after that we have created multiple http requests and we have added the html link part so, so what are we going to do with this see just this html link parser just has a name and the comments there is nothing else so what are we exactly trying to do so this html link parser is a pre processor as we all know which parses the html response and it extracts the html links and the data to use them dynamically so which is which the in the first request 
any links which comes in the page those links will be taken and passed to the request in here and this happens dynamically which means we don't have any control of what is happening so even if all the links are same it's dynamic if the links are different it's it depends upon the dynamic attribute of this HTML link preprocessor and this processor preprocessor reduces the overhead of inputting the data manually for example if you want to test a whole application a web application you want to test and you do not need to give the URL of each page instead just bring the system link parser and every page in your application will automatically get triggered and you can create even a total simulation of the entire website you wanted to test and there is no need to create a huge list of drop data uh, for drop down or radio button for creating a scenario where we do not have where do, like we using different bots we're using different values so I, I'll, I'll just take you through that in the example and like what is happening and how does it really help and this preprocessor modifies the HTTP request by supplying the value which it has passed from the previous HTTP response so let's now, I think we have seen enough of what is this HTML preprocessor is going to do, but let's now see what exactly it do. So I'm just clearing the previous request. I'm running the request now. Let me save it for now. Okay, let's. So here, the first request, which is the one that we gave, which is the HTTPS perf, perfstore.doctorperf.com, the catalog action. I can take you through the HTML page here and you can see it in the response data. So this is the response for the home page. And the second one, you can see it's birds. Third one, it's another page. And then it's the login page, the sign-in page. And fourth, again, it's the birds page. So let's, I'll take you through the URL here. So the first one is catalog.action. The second page is catalog.action.json id with birds so even you can see here the JSON session id the dynamic values are getting populated here and in the third one again it's the catalog.action the third one again it's account.action the sign in form which you have seen and then the catalog action to the bird so everything that we see here are totally dynamic so even we'll try another time so what we will do is let's run for two users and let's run it again and see how does it work and here we can see the catalog.action so here we could see the category is words and then here we in fact we could see that we have opened a particular item a product id and then here we could see the category ID is fish and then again we are back to catalog.action and then we can see the view cart page and then again the html help page and again the help page then the help page so this is how the application works so you can see here the total shopping cart is empty and you can see here the fresh page so this is how it dynamically works it takes you through the all the pages which will indirectly create a huge load and in fact it tests each and every page in your application which helps you to really test the availability and the performance of the application so let me try once more and let's see how does it work and in fact as i told you earlier so any link which comes in this page will automatically parsed by this preprocessor and you can see here every time it's changing or it's choosing a different URL and it's running so when you are running this with a huge user load and with huge number of iterations and with huge number of HTTP requests automatically the entire application will be tested so I believe this video would have been very useful to you please do subscribe to our channel and wait and watch for more videos we are discussing about various preprocessor in these series of videos and if you want to check about our other performance testing engineering tools like neo load or load runner 
we are discussing them and even there are a few videos on database we have a few videos on devops so please do subscribe and watch our videos and keep learning thank you until we meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from ascension mugam and little law